This is how to create a pixel reveal image. The first thing you need to do after opening up a new spreadsheet is to find yourself an image. So I'm going to find a simple image. Uh, normally I search under usage rights, Creative Commons license. Um, find you an image. Save your image. Then I look for pixelate effect uh, and go to the first tab, click on it, choose file, select my image that I chose. Then over here I can adjust the block size. The smaller the blocks, the more complicated the pixels. The larger number of blocks, the simpler the pixels are. Then you will click on pixelate. So you can see it's super, super simple. So I'm gonna like decrease um, the block size until I'm happy with it. Uh, and then I save that. Um, either one of these is fine. It's just as a reference to kind of look at. Then I'm going to open up my image. I'm going to open up my spreadsheet um, so I can view them at the same time. To adjust my Google spreadsheets, you click this gray square and you can adjust all of the um, cells at once to make um, a perfect square. Uh, and then you can click out of that. I usually make A and B a little bit longer because that's where my questions are going to go. So now I'm going to try to create this image. So I'll click in the square. I'll usually start with the top first. Um, and I will click the paint button. And then I just hit Control C and then Control V to copy. And then you kind of just keep going till you create yourself the image. Are you ready to change color? You click on the colors again. Control C, Control V. Okay, and keep going until you've gotten um, shape going. I'm going to start here so you can kind of see um, the formatting. So then here, this is where I go to Rhythm Writer. Uh, and if you search Rhythm Writer, it's the first one that pops up. Uh, I can click on those. It gives me the different music notes, um, whichever rhythms. Then I use this extension um, called the SSS Snip. So I'll click on that. It lets me snip just this section. I click Save. Go back to my spreadsheet, my question one. Then I'm going to put Insert image and cell uh, and then I drag that image there and so now that pops up here now this is where you condition all of these so I'm going to set this as red so to format this cell to change for this rhythm I go to format conditional formatting click if the cell does not contain, and then I'm going to type how I count my rhythm. No spaces. And then set that to be, copy that. Set this to be red. done add another rule if it is exactly this formula then I want it to turn white 
Now that I change that to white, text is exactly the way we would count it. Click done. So now if I click in this box and I type in one parentheses two, three E and a parentheses four, then hit enter, it now changes white. So now we're going to undo that. So now we're going to connect the image to this square. So I am going to control and then click a bunch of squares randomly. Uh, it needs to stay the same color. And then I'm going to format, conditional formatting. This is where you're going to scroll down all the way to custom formula is. And then you need this. Um, Formula here, equal sign, dollar sign. We are working with the B column over here, so the next letter should be lowercase b. Dollar sign again. We are working with row two, so I'm going to put two. And then we're going to put an equal sign. Then you have to put the quotation marks, and then you're going to put exactly how you would count this rhythm over here. One parentheses two, three, E, and a uh, parentheses four, in quotation marks. And when that is done, I want it to change to black. Click done. Then I'm going to hide all of these squares here, and I'm still gonna put reset. So now when I type in this answer, one parentheses two three e and a parentheses four and i hit enter the hat appears this changes white and i can go through and keep adding that for all of my things i hope this was helpful if you have any questions feel free to let me know and i'll create another video